and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So today I'm looking at the uh, Safari um, Zone in Liverpool. So obviously it wasn't actually in Liverpool. Um, with the whole world being in lockdown, um, the event became active to all trainers that had a ticket wherever they were in the world. So um, you would have increased spawns for the duration, relicanth spawns, and then also unknown spelling out the word Liverpool. Um, so let's uh, jump into it, have a look at some stats and see what we caught. So um, as you can see, the so my stats for the event, so for the start of the event, so walking, caught, um, Pokestops, XP, and then Stardust. So first off, we have a special research task that was for the event. Um, so obviously this was watered down massively, so only two two sections, so transfer 10, evolve 3, and catch 10 different species of Pokemon. So absolute breeze to get through those first three. Um, and obviously some people couldn't get outside or could only get outside for a limited amount of time, so couldn't really have much more than that. Um, so section two um let's be honest wasn't uh, was also about as uh, as challenging as part one um so what section two had um was take a snapshot of your buddy um feed your buddy three times and play with your buddy three times so again very very easy so uh that's sort of <laughs> that it done um, so the best uh, was the only thing that's sort of at all rewarding is uh, so you've got a premium raid um, premium battle pass and the encounter that you had was a guaranteed shiny um, so you got the the new shiny chin chow um, and that was a guaranteed shiny for finishing that uh, that quest off so um, that's quite good um, and uh, as you can see there's a few other shinies going along and uh, from what you can see um, it was an increase in water spawns so um, looking for those uh, those spawns those water pokemon shinies um, the liverpool well i say liverpool um, safari zone uh, was uh, was very very good for that um, and as you can see massive a big variety of the waters uh, water types um, so one that wasn't a uh, water type is the Dratini there I did manage to catch a couple of those um, so and uh, who doesn't like a shiny Dratini shiny Dragonite um, really really nice so a few of the other shinies there I hadn't got so I hadn't didn't have a Krabby prior to this I didn't have Tentacool um, I obviously didn't have a Chinchow um, I also um, didn't have a couple of the others. So some of the others that were good, so the Poliwag there that you can see. Um, so I do want to complete sets, so have uh, evolved one of each type. So really good to get uh, a few of those, a uh, few of those ones that I could uh, actually had before, but still need to complete the, the full sets of. Um, so that was uh, that was really good. So um, in all, I managed to uh, catch 17 shinies for the day, um, which is really good. And uh, last one there. So as you can see, 17:39. Um, so really close to the end of the day is the horsey there. Um, so that was one I was really looking forward to, um, and uh, really wanted all day long. And 17:39. Uh, so uh, 20 minutes to go in the event, and managed to catch that. So really happy with that one. Um, now to uh, have a look at uh, what the stats were at the end of the day so um, when the event finished i had uh, caught well i'd walked just over 15 k's i'd caught 856 pokemon um visited 200 pokestops 500,000 xp um, and over 100,000 dust as you're about to see so um the Pokemon caught 856 sounds like a lot. However, um, because there's some difficulty uh, spinning stops recently, um, limited access around, um, uh, I was out of Pokeballs, so I probably would have checked half as many again without actually catching, just shiny checking 
everything. Um, so if you look at my catch, my well, the shiny rates, so I got about one in 50, and but if you include all of the Pokemon that I saw but did not catch, um, then probably would have been closer to one in 75, I guess, shiny rates. Um, so it's okay not as good as community day um but the variety is there so that's always good so um just gone through all of my uh, the shinies that i caught uh, there and ending with that horsey so what did i think um to be completely honest with you it uh, was a bit of a letdown um i spent the first hour um wandering around catching stuff and not getting a shiny so the first shiny i got was the research um, special research task um the so guaranteed shiny there the second shiny i got was an hour into the event um at that point i'd had an unknown run that i needed um and to be honest it was a bit underwhelming um <laughs> There was a lot of water spawns and happy days if you wanted shinies of water Pokemon, but one of the good things about, well, supposed to be one of the good things about a Safari Zone event is you can go to different areas to catch things that you want. Um, so if you want to target something that's ground, something that's fire, whatever, you can go to those different areas and you can target those. So I don't really know. Uh, I think having just water spawns was a bit of a letdown, to be completely honest. Um, and I think possibly it would have just been better for Niantic to call off the whole thing and reschedule when uh, this chaos sort of ends. Um, I'm really happy with 17 shinies, obviously. Um, after my first hour without getting a shiny, I was not not too pleased. Um, but ending the day with 17 and, and having so many different types of shinies was also really cool um, and a lot that I didn't actually have before. Um, so really, really happy with that. But to be honest, I just call it redo the event at another time when everyone can get to the park. So the whole point of the Safari Zone and the reason that I did it along with, uh, well, I wanted to be involved is the whole community side of things. And without that, it was sort of just an extended community day um, without the community just walking around so obviously I don't it would depend where you are as to what restrictions are in place but here you just walk around by yourself for that length of time catching Pokemon it's it was a bit of a letdown to be completely honest um, I really look forward to when they have the event to make up for it and when we can get the community together um, so everyone can go you can chat you can uh, talk about what you've caught and and get that involved I think that's what was really missing it was uh, it was okay. I'm um, really happy with all the shinies, but to be honest, they should have called it completely off. So um, that is what it is. Hopefully uh, it puts a bit of a downer on the end of this video, to be completely honest. Um, and I sound really ungrateful for all those shinies, but honestly, really, really happy with all those shinies. Um, and I mean, they're trying. Um, there's not much they can do. It's a game that is made to be outdoors, walking around, and doing it in groups so it's really difficult and I think they really need to be cut some slack um, people do like to complain an awful lot but they're trying and I think they've done um, they've done some things really really well this one not so great um, but you don't know until uh, until you actually try these things out so um, good on them for trying but I think it was a bit of a letdown for me at least anyway um, and I will uh, really look forward to when this safari zone uh, actually gets uh, reorganized and redone because I will be there and I think with that community with everybody around you um, it's going to be a much more uh, much more enjoyable day so um, that was my experience thank you very much for watching I'll uh, see you in the next one bye for now